the process of reproduction is a vital character all living beings should be very clear and the purpose of reproduction is to multiplicate or to perpetuate to the next generation it provides a sort of immortality by replacing the individuals with new ones directly i am coming to the types of reproduction the process of producing the offspring of the same kind may occur in two ways one is asexual reproduction another is through sexual reproduction let us first see asexual reproduction if we see the definition of asexual reproduction it is a uniparental mode of reproduction means you need to have only single or uh, one organism to produce its offspring it occurs from protozoans among animals and some sponges are also involved some cnidates some tunicates tunicates are lower chordates means as such very few animal groups are involved with this type of reproduction specifically it is prevalent among plants let us see the types of asexual reproduction there are broadly four categories of asexual reproduction one is fission number 2 is budding number 3 is fragmentation and number 4 is sporulation or spore formation let us see fission first it is the simplest form of reproduction which in which the unicellular organisms either divides into two or many or it is also divided in two categories one is binary fission and another is multiple fission binary fission is a type of reproduction in which nuclear division is followed by cytoplasmic division into two parts and each nucleus is surrounded by some amount of cytoplasm which makes a two daughter cells the best example is provided with amoeba when we say multiple means more than two means you will get more than two organisms by multiple fish means the nucleus divides several times this is the difference between binary and multiple fishes and daughter nuclei are arranged in the periphery which are surrounded by some amount of cytoplasm and they will form the new organism means single cell will produce many organism by multiple fission the best example again is of plasmodium which is a causative pathogen for malaria fever the second part is known as budding of asexual reproduction budding is also of two types one is endogenous budding another is exogenous budding when we see endogenous budding means internal budding this means the bud arises inside or within the parent body for example in sponges whereas in exogenous budding or external budding the bud arises from the surface of the parent's body for example in hydra and yeast during the process of budding the bud remains attached to the parent body for some time and after some time it gets separated and forms a new individual it gets detached from the parent's body let us come to the third type of asexual reproduction fragmentation or regeneration although it is not always correct to name regeneration as a reproduction process because re regeneration ability is present in some higher animals like amphibians but uh, this process is very common in lower plant groups 
I would like to give an example of spirogram. Suppose this is the body which is in the form of a filament. And if it is broken from any part, then each part has the capacity to form a fresh filament. This is a type of algae where fragmentation is a common mode of reproduction. Coming to the last part of asexual reproduction that is spore formation or sporulation it is formed specifically in fungus some of the bacteria such as cocci and bacillus type bacteria the structure is formed called sporangium unique structure this sporangium is a structure where nucleus of the cell divides several times forming many nuclei and each nucleus is surrounded by a bit of cytoplasm and it goes in a dormant stage for some time. These spores are liberated in the atmosphere or environment and forms a new high phase. For example, in rhizopus, this type of reproduction is a common mode of reproduction. This is a surface, round surface, and this is a tiny filamentous hive. They get attached to the substratum, and this is sporangium. After some time, this bursts, liberating the spores in the air, and these spores give rise to new hive, which will give rise to in your rise of the body. Fifth time, sometimes in plants, it can be seen this uh, vegetative propagation. It is not a true asexual reproduction. Not a true asexual reproduction because here the human efforts are involved. Sometimes, for example, in grasses, you can grow the new organism from stem or from leaf. A new organism is obtained. It can be done by Number one, cutting, for example, in rows, and number two, layering, development of adventitious. And first of all, let us see the cutting. This is a common mode of vegetative propagation, specifically used by gardeners to develop various ornamental plants. And uh, commercially, it is also used cultivation of grapes as well as in sugarcane layering. In this process, the development of adventitious root is induced on a stem before it gets detached from the original plant. For example, in mango, mud layering is the type of layering which is utilizing specifically leaves such as in bryophyllum where the leaves are you know buried and they gives out adventitious roots which gives out a new bryophyllum. Similarly, and, uh, stem mud layering and uh, sometimes uh, this uh, air layering is also observed. It is adapted in those plants where stem cannot be bent on the ground. In this process, the stem is girded or bounded. Stem is either girded or bounded from the uh, from with the next with the another plant. Means a ring of bark is removed from the stem. Then it is covered with moist cotton and wrapped with polythene sheet to prevent the moisture. After a few weeks, the adventitious roots develop from the injured part and the branch along with the roots is then separated from the parent plant and this part is now grown into the new plant. And uh, air layering is commonly seen in uh, orange and pomegranate. If we see diagrammatically, suppose this is a branch from here cut it and the new branch is attached from this side so this part is covered with cotton and a layer of polythene is also tied to prevent any type of you know infiltration from outside and from this side adventitious roots starts coming this is known as grafting some, some amount of soil is also needed specifically clay is kept so the process of air layering is also used some when propagating some plant. Apart from it, grafting can be done. The process of joining together of two different plants.
spoilers drop for the process. They live as one plant in future if survive. Out of the two plants, one is rooted in the soil and is known as stalk. The other part consists of a small shoot bearing one or more birds. It is known as seal. Means if this is stalk, then the upper part is known as seal. There is a demarcation between these two. This is the terminology commonly used to understand the process of grafting. Vegetative propagation is very common, especially in bryophyllum, where the leaves are involved in reproduction. It is a unique example. In few of the plants,